hearty welcome to all of you in this video we are discussing about morphological image processing which is an important part of the digital image processing very first we'll see at the definition of morphology it is actually a branch of image processing that deals with the form and structure of an object in elaboration this morphological image processing is used to extract image components for representation and description of the region shape such as the boundaries the skeletons of the entire image next let us see into the main points of mathematical morphology which is very important here in our practical implementation to understand how to implement it mathematical morphology it is used as a tool for extracting image components that are useful in the purpose of representation and description of region shape which is specific in an image based upon the required application now coming towards the language of mathematical morphology it purely depends upon set theory which is a very basic concept in mathematics and coming towards the advantage of mathematical morphology it is an unified and powerful approach to numerous image processing problems which like medical satellite and any aerial survey image processing applications now as we said that it is a set theory this picture gives us a basic description of how two regions given by a and b starting with a union b as shown in the second picture a intersection p how the common part is highlighted a complement where the entire sample space other than a has been highlighted a minus b the component other than b occupied has been highlighted to explain you the basic set theory which is a primary thing that we should have while discussing about morphology the image processing now moving to the basic morphological image processing it is actually a broad and coherent collection of various theoretical concepts non linear filters such as design methodologies and various application systems now coming towards how they are very useful they actually preserve uncover or detect the geometric structure of the image objects which are hidden in the specified applications and also this morphological image processing offer efficient solutions to other non linear tasks such as the suppression of non gaussian noise which is unidentifiable sometimes while doing the pre processing operation in any sort of image processing application now coming to structuring element which is considered as the one of the main preliminaries of morphological image processing the structuring elements which are used in morphology are meant to have varied sizes and the usual elements in any of the structuring element are 0 and 1 and sometimes there might be none for thinning purpose of application other values are also possible other than 0 1 and none sometimes empty spots as you see in the picture there the dot part represents origin 
whereas the empty spots in structuring elements are referred to as don't care conditions. Now coming to types of morphological operations. Very basic operations are dilation and erosion, which are actually dual to each other. Where erosion shrinks the foreground of the image and tends to enlarge the background to understand what is happening in the image. Whereas dilation enlarges the foreground, but it tries to shrink the background in an image to understand what is there on the foreground side object. This is about basic dilation and erosion, which are, we can see with respect to their definitions, they are actually dual, dual to each other. Now, very first one, erosion. Actually, erosion is a set of all points in the image where the structure element fits into. And let us consider each foreground pixel in the input image. Therefore, if the structuring element fits in, as given in the definition, we have to write one at the origin of the structuring element as shown in the previous structuring element. Now, simple applications of this erosion is of pattern matching type of applications where we check like license plate recognitions and facial recognition somewhere like content based retrieval systems, those type of now coming to the inputs, what are the inputs we give here in erosion are one is binary image, which is actually a gray value. One more is structuring element, which contain only ones. As we already know, structuring elements can contain zero and one and also none. But here, while doing erosion, all the values are of ones. Let us have a look at the structuring element, how it changes itself. The structuring element B acts onto the original image A as in the picture. Now we can see yellow represents the intersect pixel, blue represents the center pixel, how it acts. Now we can understand how it is acting on that one, how it is converting that entire thing into. This is how erosion operations happen. And one to one, slowly, the structuring elements work on with respect to the center pixels. We are continuing with the erosion operations here in this. Now, moving towards dilation. Actually, dilation is considered as the set of all the available points in an image where the concerned structuring element touches the foreground. Now let us consider each pixel in the input image. In this one, if the structuring element touches the foreground image, we have to write one at the origin of the structuring element. When coming to the inputs, it is a binary image, whereas in erosion, it is a grayscale. Now here it is a binary image in dilation operation and the structuring element contains only ones as given in the same of erosion. Now let us have a look at a graphical flow of how the dilation happens. Look at that corner part, how it happens. The central pixel is away from it while connected. Now, this is how it works with respect to the provider structuring element, which have all the components as ones. And as I said that the input value of an image, an image provided here is just for the purpose of representation in terms of pixels.
now we can look at this one. How is this, all those pixels are combined together to represent the result of dilation here at the end? Now, moving towards the next set of operations, morphological operations, that is opening and closing. They are considered as very important operations after erosion and dilation because they are themselves derived from the fundamental operations which have been discussed just right now, that are dilation and erosion. These opening and closing usually are applied to the binary images, but gray value images are also possible in some of the applications. And similar to dilation and erosion, opening and closing operations are also considered as dual operations. Moving towards the very first after dilation and erosion, the opening. It is just similar to erosion operation, which uh, is useful for spot and nice removal in an image. And it is considered as very less destructive when considered to the another method. Here, what happens, very first we carry out erosion, next dilation. Now here the input, here the same stretching element for both the operations, let it be erosion as well as dilation in the opening operation. Now the input images are considered as binary images here. Similarly, the stretching element mostly of ones. Now, As I already said, erosion followed by dilation operation. Here, the structure element is considered and slided it around inside each foreground region. Now, all pixels which can be covered by the corresponding structuring element, with the structuring element being entirely within the foreground region, will be preserved. Now, all the foreground pixels which cannot be reached by the structuring element here, without lapping over the edge of the foreground object, will be eroded away. That means erosion followed by dilation operation is carried out to give a opening image result. Now moving towards closing operation. This closing operation is very much similar to that of dilation operation. Now here it mainly useful for removal of the holes in the images which are in appearance. Next it also tends to enlarge the regions and it helps to Shrink the background in an image. Closing is considered as a dilation followed by an erosion, which is exactly opposite of the previous opening operation. Here it uses the same structure element for both the operations, that is dilation as well as erosion, to obtain the closing. Now coming towards means dilation next erosion. Here it is. Now here are the input images, binary image and the structuring element containing only ones. This is how the so-called morphological image processing works on the image processing applications. Hope this video has helped you a lot. And this is actually a non-equation most of the times we have preferred to provide you a video which is useful in theoretical concepts and make you to learn for the practical investigations. In next set of videos, we will plan to have a mathematical elaboration of the so-called morphological image processing operations.